Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into an early review of set number 43221. This is the Lego Disney 100 Years of Disney Animation Icon set. It will be retailing for $59.99 USD, $79.99 Canadian, and has a total of 1,022 pieces. And that actually brings the price per piece to five cents, which is really, really good. But again, you're getting really tiny elements, so it's not like you're getting large pieces or anything like that. But let's go ahead and let's open this up because it's a pretty crazy set. All right, let's uh, let's see everything inside. It doesn't look like a lot of bags, but uh, obviously there are a ton of small little elements that you're going to see throughout this whole thing here. You can see all the extra bags there, bag number four. For all those, I guess that's when you're actually designing it. Here's all the extra plates. But uh, the instructions. So you can see in the back here, there's actually a ton of different instructions and different builds that you can do here. Um, they're all categorized as well. We'll flip through that later. But for now, I'm just going to pick my favorites, build those, and uh, build the frame and all that as well first. And then we'll look at those after. You could check out the chapters down below if you want to hop around straight to that. So here's the frame all built up. You can see there's nine squares that you could display here. Also, you've got like little hidden Mickey sort of popping out of the sides. You've obviously got a spot on the top to actually hang it up. I like the design of this as well. Just the round shapes and everything for the borders even there in the center. Like this could have just been, you know, flat tiles like the other art sets are. Just to give you a sense of scale here compared to like regular art sets, just the, the sheer size of it, that's one of them turned around. So that's pretty crazy. Speaking of turning around, this is what it looks like here from the back, if you were curious. There's also this included. It's a little small Disney 100 stand. So here it is. I really like the stand. I like the idea of having this little small thing. You could obviously swap it out for uh, other uh creations if you want but uh, i wanted to build the one that was in the instructions because it had this gorgeous disney 100 two by six tile that's a print there that looks really cool also the 100 is like in mickey's colors i think that's pretty cool it's supposed to be like the top of him in his pants and then this is the stand and you've got a little hidden mickey piece there as well as the stand can fold all the way down like that here's the exclusive painter mickey mouse figure included here i believe the torso and the legs are all brand new the palette and paintbrush however are not those were actually introduced from the van gogh or van gogh set from last year and uh, i think that it's just a fun little variant they didn't have to include a minifigure in here and i don't mind that it's mickey if it was like someone else i think that some people might have been a little bit more upset but it's just a mickey variant it's not as bad as like getting some classic disney character locked behind this set if you don't like it so there you go i've designed my own nine squares i've done uh two other ones here so you've got a pizza planet truck that i've built as well as sheriff woody which this one's probably the one that i don't know uh, it's tough to i was trying to copy the style you'll see from the instructions in a second but uh for different characters so the sully one i think turned out pretty well again i was copying like what they did for mike with the mouth and all that and the different colors of blue i think work well for ernesto i noticed that he wasn't on the villain page so i tried to make the sombrero and also like the tuft of hair which i really like also the uh, bow tie in gray dory wasn't included you're gonna notice it's a lot of pixar i i think i grew up more on pick i don't know actually it, it's tough i grew up on like everything but i my love for pixar is, is very big so here's dory um she wasn't uh, included nemo was we've got you might be wondering what the heck is that well it's actually a heartless from kingdom hearts kingdom hearts is a big part of you know it's a, tied to disney and uh that's what probably like grew my love of disney like at least to the point where it is here here's wreck it ralph i tried to do like the little 8-bit picture of him <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit of a mess, but I like doing like the overalls and everything there. He's probably a little too big, especially going off of like the style that they did for everyone else there, like Ernesto. We have a floating lantern from Tangled. I wanted to do like one object, and I think that the the sun shape and everything turned out pretty well. We've got Jack Skellington. I don't know how they didn't do anything from Nightmare Before Christmas here for this. We got Buzz Lightyear. Again, I was pretty limited for the parts. But I like it with all the different buttons that you've got on the chest and the Lightyear logo, the Star Command logo. Obviously, it's like simplified by just colors, but 
Yeah, and then here we've got Zerg, one of my all-time favorite uh, villains, obviously from Disney, and uh, that was fun to do with the very limited, like, that's all the purple parts in the color. I used it all for him, and it worked out well, I think. And then here is the aftermath, all the extra parts that I did not use for all the ones that you just saw. All right, let's take a look at, like, Lego's official design, shall we? Um, we're going to skip, uh, actually, I'm trying to think, I think everyone is shown off, even the ones that they have you actually go through and do the instructions here. So you got to flip all the way to the back here. You can see just how tall some of the builds actually get, um, especially with Elsa's hair over there. But uh, anyways, flip forward here to page 102 in the instructions. It says at the top, all 12 models can be simultaneously built and the instructions can be found online once the set obviously comes out. So to go through the different things here, this is the Pixar page. We've got Nemo, then the Vespa from Luca, a little green alien from Toy Story. We've got Miguel from Coco, the incredible symbol, Wally, the up house, Remy from Ratatouille. We've got Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc., Lightning McQueen. We've got May from Turning Red there in her panda form. And we've got the classic Pixar lamp there. Uh, the next page is like a bunch of different objects. So you could see we've got like a Mickey and Minnie symbol the 100 one that you've already seen, as well as just a regular hidden Mickey. We've also got here the rose from Beauty and the Beast. And then we've got the genie lamp. We've got the candle from Encanto, the necklace from The Little Mermaid, Ursula's necklace. We've got Cinderella's slipper, the sword in the stone from that same movie, a pumpkin carriage, as well as the classic Disney castle there with the uh, wishing star going above on top got uh, mickey and friends page here so we've got daisy donald mickey minnie pluto goofy chip dale and then a 100 sort of symbol there and then also scrooge mcduck i'm sure you could also make the triplets very easily here's the disney princess page we've got rapunzel ariel cinderella pocahontas jasmine snow white aurora tiana mulan merida belle and moana and sort of continuing that, it's just more sort of, I guess, just Disney characters. I don't think Anna and Elsa are officially Disney princesses, if I recall. But uh, anyways, we've got Elsa, Olaf, as well as Anna. We've got Lumiere, Stitch, Mirabelle, Dumbo, Alice, Winnie the Pooh, which is cool to see here, as well as Pua from Moana. We've also got, I'm going to guess that's Simba and the flying carpet from Aladdin. The Disney villains page here, we've got uh, Cruella de Vil. We've got like just a flame. I think that's like a, I don't know, specifically like a Maleficent flame. We've got Ursula, Hades, as well as the Queen of Hearts. We've got Scar, the Poison Apple. We've got Madame Tremaine, the evil stepmother from Cinderella. Jafar, Captain Hook's Hook, as well as Maleficent and Syndrome from The Incredibles. And that is the last and final page of the instructions wish that they designed a hundred i don't know why they didn't i think it would have been really cool especially given the name of the set but overall i think that this is a really fun set if you are a fan of like art as well as disney and if you want to get that exclusive mickey figure this is how you're gonna have to do that and i think that you know it's a small little mosaic set sort of merging brick sketches i guess with the art sets and i don't know it's just fun like i really like this and also there's a ton of things here that like we've never gotten before in lego form so i hope that this is potentially references to a ton of things to come like that's the dream for sure with just all the different villains that we've never gotten before the sword and the stone dumbo turning red and luca and all those other pixar things that would be really really cool to continue to get and make sure we get everything that was in this booklet somehow in this disney 100 theme that's the dream but be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on future lego disney set news and reviews i've got a playlist at the end here if you want to check out the other disney 100 sets we've looked at on the channel hope you guys did enjoy this video hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one